got your summer bucket list and now you need a way to display it in your home. You need to make this display. I'm gonna show you how step by step. It's super easy and you're gonna love the results. Let's get started. Love this summer bucket list display. I'm Mandy from Sugar Bee Crafts and I'm going to show you how to make it. My project is in collaboration with a couple of other great YouTube crafty people. Emily from Naptime Creations is going to show us DIY side yard chalk, so be sure to check that out. And then Jennifer from Hydrangea Hippo is going to show us chalk paint patio decor. So be sure to check them out. Now on to me. All right, let's get started on our summer bucket list board. You're gonna need a clipboard to hold your list. You're gonna need the actual board. This is a one by 12 border pieces. These are just one by twos that I've cut. Any of this wood, you can have them cut it in the store for you if you're intimidated by that. You're gonna need paint. If you wanna do stripes, you're gonna need tape. Okay, I've already prepped my main board. You can see it started as a board and now it's white, okay? That's gonna be my background color, and I'm gonna add stripes to my board. Now, stripes are sometimes tricky because they bleed through the tape, but I have a secret that we're going to talk about to get not to bleed through. Rip off a piece wider than the board, put it down. Now, if you are particular, you can measure. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna do stripes all the way down the board. Good. you're going to want to press your tape down to get it to seal well. The parts that you have left untaped are the parts that are going to get the color painted onto them. The secret to getting sharp, crisp lines when taping off is to do a sealer coat. I'm going to use your base color. For me, it was white. And we're going to paint the edges with white. And that way, though, if anything's going to bleed under the tape, it will be the white and you won't be able to tell because it's already white. So this is the sealer coat that we're going to put on. When you're brushing it on, you just want to seal the edge where the tape meets the paint. You're sealing it with the base color that you're using. We're going to let that sealer coat dry. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and paint my border boards, which are these. Okay, I started painting this, but I thought it was too dark, so I've switched colors to this. Eh? We're going to paint this one. Oh yeah, much better. When you're painting your border, you want to paint all sides of the board because you'll be able to see all sides. Okay, so I've got the first coat on the border. I've got my sealer coat on my main board for the stripes. We're gonna have to take a break and let this dry. And we'll come back, paint the stripes, probably paint a second coat on those, and we'll assemble. Okay, we're back. It's mostly dry, the sealer coat, and so I'm going to go ahead and move on to my stripes. I'm striping in gray. I paint right over where we paint that sealer coat. Okay, so the stripes are Semi-dry, they're still a little bit wet and that's the perfect time to peel up the paint. If you wait till it's completely dry, sometimes the paint likes to stick to the tape, so you want it just a little bit wet. We're gonna go ahead and peel it up and reveal our lines. Look at that. Crisp edge perfection. Okay, you guys. It looks so good. Can you see the perfect edges that we got on our lines? That's what we were aiming for. This is crafting perfection right here. Hey, I'm gonna let everything dry really thoroughly, which means I'm gonna go do some other projects. I'm gonna come back this afternoon, finish up the tutorial. It comes together really quick and easily. We're, we're almost done. All right, time warp. It's been a few hours and they are dry dry the striped board that we have, and the trim boards. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off our project. You're gonna need a clipboard, and you want to hang it on the main board with a nail. I am the worst at hammering, so I like to pre-drill where my nail's gonna go. 
So, I've got my clipboard about where I want it centered on my board and I'm just going to mark where the nail needs to go. Okay, so I've got a dot right there. I'm gonna take my drill and just drill a pilot hole. That way I know where to put the nail and hammer in. Next up, we need to put the words. Summer bucket list. So those of you that are great at writing, um, you can just go ahead and hand write that on with a paint marker or even a Sharpie. I am not so great at writing, so I went ahead and printed mine off in vinyl. You can see it. And so I'm just, vinyl's like a sticker that I used, and I have a machine that cuts it to the words I want. So I'm just going to stick it right on. Um, I actually have a whole video tutorial on how to do vinyl. I'll give you a quick rundown. You need transfer tape, which is this. It's sticky. And you take your vinyl and you put your transfer tape on top of it and rub. And then you take the backing off of your vinyl and you can see that it sticks right to the transfer tape. So the transfer tape is transferring your sticker from its backing to your project. Okay, once you have it where you want to go, you just rub the transfer tape in your design so it'll stick to your project like this. And you're just going to peel back the transfer tape and it leaves your vinyl behind. Boom. See? That's cute, right? Okay, so I just need to put my nail in the hole to finish the front. To finish the sides, I've got these boards. I'm going to put the side pieces on like this. I'm going to take it out to the shop, actually, and use the nail gun. I'll put two nails there and two here. Now I'll take the top piece, shoot a couple of nails in there, and this piece and shoot a couple of nails in there. And that is all there is to the project. Okay, so I'm back, I nailed it on. I also took a piece of sandpaper and I've been kind of rubbing and distressing the edges just because I like that look. But as you can see, we've got it all finished. Now we can hang our board right there. And all we need to do is add our list for the summer. It's way fun, super easy. You're gonna write your whole summer bucket list down. You can put it on a shelf, it's gonna stand, or you can hang it on a wall. Then you can check off all the fun things you're doing in the summer, add more to the list, to everything you wanna do. And it looks cute in the process. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Sugar Bee Crafts, lots of fun DIY tutorials you don't wanna miss.